Hello guys, my name is Russian Badger and welcome to the Battlefield Hardline Beta, also known to those of you that play Blood Money as the cash grabbing simulator. It's quite a bit of fun when you never have to steal from your enemy team's wall. But before I get into anything else about the sawed off shotgun or the ballistic shield or even the taser, 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 before I get into any of that, I'd like to tell you three different things that you're probably going to want to know. Number one, if you want to get in on the beta and you actually want to play it, the easiest way to do that is just look at it. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. And oh, baby, a triple. Oh, yeah. I don't even know how that happened. I really couldn't tell you. But the easiest way to get in on the beta is I will leave a link down in the description. You can go to the Battlefield Hardline beta site, and there you can sign up using your Origin account. That's the easiest way to get in. Now, here's one thing that a lot of you should listen up to. You are not going to be sent a code. That is one thing that a lot of people were super confused on. That basically at the live stream, a lot of people were telling Badger, like, I signed up like 48 hours ago, I still haven't gotten a code. Well, this is the difference, all right? I know like one or two guys that got codes. Everybody else, it's not the traditional, I get a code in my email if I sign up for the beta. You sign up using the link in the description and then EA automatically adds it to your origin library. That's the difference. It's it's not like you're everybody's gonna get a code and taser, 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 oh my god, and then I just took out my ballistic shield. Bow, 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 and he somehow flew up onto the car hood. Carl, what are you doing? So I decided to say, all right, have some of my face. That spray is just perfect right next to you. But that's the one difference that I want to explain to you guys. If you sign up using the link in the description, it's not going to be a code that is sent to your email. It is going to be a game. The Battlefield Hardline beta is automatically added to your origin library as soon as you get in. And I know yesterday a lot of people were not in the beta, and they rolled out a ton of different, basically, access to a lot of people today. So I know there's a ton more people playing today than there was yesterday. So if you've signed up in the past, like, 24 hours or so, I would check your origin library just to see if you're in yet. And the second thing is that... I'm going to be live streaming a ton of this beta, so if you'd like to follow me over on Twitch, I will leave a link down in the description. Come on, Carl, why are you lying on the ground, dog? So if you want to follow me, I will leave a link down in the description. That way that you can get an email as soon as I start live streaming every time. That's I can't give you like a guaranteed schedule of hours, but I know that I'm going to be live streaming this beta quite frequently over on Twitch. So I will leave a link down in the description over to my live stream if you'd like to see that. And the third thing... I am definitely making a tutorial video for this beta. There is too many funny moments slash, I just have, t I have like 121 saved video clips of just outrageous clips of like, people going with the Air Jordan perk. I don't know if you guys have heard about that yet. The revive pin, which is broken overpowered. The survivalist pin, which is broken overpowered. Basically, reviving yourself. It's amazing, all right? This beta, I can't tell you it's good. And this is another thing that I would like to tell you guys. I can't necessarily say, Oh, this game's going to be worth your $60 because tons of you are asking me that question. This is how I would answer it. I can't determine if this game is going to be worth $60 off of playing two game modes on one map. It's not enough of an all-encompassing... Come on, Carl. Like your, like your parachute's going to protect you. That's not going to... Come on, man. Where's your RPG? I mean, at least if you brought your RPG, man, just fire it. Just fire it. But... That's my answer to that question. I can't really make a determination if this is worth your $60 off of one map and two game modes. I need to see a lot more before I can really tell you faithfully, yeah, you should spend your money on this, or no, you should not spend your money on this. So I just need a more, I need a broader perspective of the entire game. I need more maps, more game modes, more weapons, stuff like that, before I can make a determination. And that's really all that I have to say about whether or not this game is good. But beyond that whole should you spend your money on this argument? I can tell you right now, I am having a ton of fun with this game. And this is sort of the reason that I got this. I have like a hundred saved clips of just the Air Jordan perk. And like I said, all of these different funny moments. So this is sort of the differentiation that I wanted to say to you. I can't yet tell if this is a good game. But I can tell you right now, I am having a ton of fun with this game. And those things are not necessarily the same thing. Like for example, I can tell you for a lot of Battlefield 3, I didn't think it was very fun, but I thought it was, come on, man, why are you sit, why are you sitting on the ground? That's the same dude, that's the same dude from like 10 seconds, that's the same dude from 10 seconds ago. I don't even know why he's there. It's, I wanted to comfort him by spraying something on the ground so he had something to sleep next to, but it wasn't really working out. But like I said, guys, I'm probably not the perfect person that you should be asking in terms of whether or not this is worth your money, whether it's a good game, whether it's a fun game, because this is sort of the differentiation that I would tell you. 
There's a lot of games that are kind of terrible that I find really fun, all right? Really, really fun. But at the same time, there are a lot of games that I think are very well done, very well produced, that I don't think are fun. I know the second half of Battlefield 3 was kind of like that. As soon as sort of the newness, manuness factor wore off, it turned into... Yeah, this is a really well done game. I mean, there's a lot of different weapons. There's a lot of different unlockables. The environments are very cool. You got some decent maps here, but I don't find it fun. I think it's a well produced game. I think it's not necessarily polished, but I think it's a good game that isn't necessarily fun. And just the difference between those two different things is something that I wanted to communicate to you guys. Now, when it comes to the double barrel sawed off shotgun, it is outrageous. Now, there's two different really schools of thought, at least if you ask me. I somehow got that with the HK-45C, which is an outrageously good pistol, by the way, because I don't know if it... Well, like, the way that I've compared it to Battlefield 4 is basically, instead of a ton of time that it takes to basically reset after you fire a shot, and ba -bow! I, I love this thing so much. I just can't stop using it. Those of you that are over the live stream, ba -bow! I, I can't stop using it. It's so much fun. There's... Like I was going to say, there's two different schools of thought on this thing. I know a lot of people that are like, boom, I'm going to kill one guy, and then boom, I'm going to go look and kill another guy. Me, I'm a little bit different. It's more like every time I see a guy, it's just going to be a oh, bow every single time. Just because I usually like to ensure that I come out of the engagement alive. Now granted, that might get you killed a few times because obviously your primary is instantly out of ammo as soon as you, as soon as you do that. But I think at the same time, with the double barrel sawed off shotgun, it reloads fast enough that you kind of only have to find a quick corner, throw some shells in, and then turn back around. You're not really gonna die, all right? You're not really gonna die. And see that red hit marker right there? That's another little nifty feature about this game is that when you get red hit markers, you know that you're hitting the guy in the head, and it is very convenient. Now, wow! I just, oh, <laughs> I just love this thing so much. But another thing I wanted to mention, you see that right there? That's one little piece that you're gonna want to know if you are using the double barrel shotgun because I know a lot of weapons, especially in the Battlefield series, you know how you can basically cancel the reload, so. There's the, okay, see how I throw two in, and then there's another split second, then it hits the two? Okay, just check the next time that I reload. It's a little bit easier to understand that way. Basically, unlike a lot of other weapons where the capacity or the bullets are already in the gun, if you will, before the animation finishes, this is the opposite. So, if you throw the shells in, they're already in there, you close the action, you have to wait another second or two before, Wesley, snipes. You have to wait another second or two before the gun will actually be able to fire. That is one thing that you should definitely pay attention to. So you notice, I throw two shells in, I close the action, but it's another like quarter to half second before I can actually fire. So just be careful about, just because your shells are in there and just because the action is closed, you can't quite fire for another half second or two. That's gotten me killed quite a few times, but that's another tip that I would definitely give you. I know I kind of rambled about a few different things, but... I'm very excited about this beta. Hopefully you guys come over and join me at the live stream. It's a lot of fun. I will have that tutorial video out to you that I'm going to try to make it kind of like the intervention video, but it's going to be a lot of funsies nonetheless. But I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I will bring you a lot of content in the next couple days, and I will see you guys next time. Auf Wiedersehen und bis bald und your bonus clip. All right, it's... <laughs> Allow me to just tell you, the revive pin is most definitely, certainly undoubtedly not OP. I swear to you, dude, it's not OP. It's not OP if it's a revive pin, all right? Well, let me just establish that. And later.